Good morning internet, it is 20 to 7 in the morning and welcome back to the channel. Welcome here in Chichiksha in Mauritania. It's still a little bit dark as you can see, it's almost getting light. So I'm just waiting for it to be fully light. And I'm having my breakfast here, which is a little bit of a random collection of foods. I have some leftover chicken from dinner last night and an apple. So that is my breakfast for today. I just want to leave early, early because today is going to be a very long day. Because I am now right over here and I want to make it to uh, St. Louis, St. Louis over here in Senegal. And I want to take this border crossing. There's a very small border crossing over here, which I want to take. And that is at a place called Bogue, Bogue, Bogue. I have some information that it's possible to cross there, but I don't know. Sometimes I also have information that turns out not to be correct or not to be true. So I'm not 100% sure if I can cross there. I hope so, because it's a small border crossing and I always prefer small border crossings because usually they're hassle-free, they're less crowded. It's just all a little bit more relaxed and easy. So if I can cross the border into Senegal there, I will. If not, I'll have to continue riding next to the border on the Mauritania side all the way to here. And then I'll take like one of the main border crossings over here. But it doesn't really matter if I cross at the small border or if I have to go to the main border crossing. It doesn't really matter. I really still want to try to make it to St. Louis today. And the reason for that is I am traveling with a Cornet de Passage again for this season. And a Cornet de Passage basically is kind of a passport for your motorcycle. It's not necessary. In most parts of the world, it's not necessary. Like in all of the Americas, you don't need it. In Western Africa, Apparently you can travel without and you you do a temporary import in every country But it's a lot more hassle free again. If you have a Cornet de Passage, it's gonna be a lot easier I won't be asked to pay money. It's just What I understood it's gonna make my life a lot easier to travel with a Cornet, which is why I got it and For Morocco and Mauritania, you don't really don't need it Everybody just uses a temporary import But Senegal is the first country where a Cornet de Passage is gonna make my life a lot easier and also cheaper because I believe for the Temporary import you have to pay quite a bit of money and with my Cornet de Passage it should be free But they will only stamp the Cornet de Passage in Dakar. That means that at the border I'll get a What did they call it now? A passant? I don't know a piece of paper and I'll have to make it within two days, or within 48 hours, I'll have to make it to Dakar and there I have to stamp my Cornet de Passage. So if I cross the border at the small border crossing, it's still quite a long way in Senegal. So either way, I'll have to quickly make my way to Dakar. So first day I must reach St. Louis and then second day reach Dakar, get my Cornet stamped. That is the plan, are you still with me? <laughs> it's going to be an incredibly long day, about 700 kilometers and I have to do a border crossing, so yeah. Big news though, I managed to get fuel. <laughs> I managed to hustle some fuel from a guy. I asked the owner of the guest house here, I was like, I need fuel, I need essence, I need essence. And he made some phone calls, a guy rocks up. First the guy wanted me to pay up front. He's like, give me the money. And I was like, now give me the fuel. <laughs> So eventually he came over with the fuel, I gave him the money, it came out of a jerry can, 20 liters. I have no idea about the quality, if, if there was dirt in it, if there was water in it, I don't know. It looked okay-ish, but uh, that means that with the 20 liters I will not make it all the way to St. Louis with the 20 liters, I don't think. So I'm gonna top up a little bit in Bogue, there should be another petrol station, which is 400 kilometers from here. I will top up maybe five more liters and then I should make it. So yeah, it's, there's a lot of planning in, <laughs> involved in this whole operation. Um, another reason why I must make it to St. Louis is that I need cash again. There are no ATMs, nothing over here, no way to get your hands on cash. 
and of course I had to pay Ahmed for that whole trip that we did. I'm literally running on my last Ugias, Ugias, which is the currency of Mauritania. I really need to make it to St. Louis because there are ATMs that should accept my card. So, breakfast. And then go. Merci beaucoup. Ciao. Oh, Tichiksha is still asleep. It's so windy around here that I ride with my visor again. I prefer to use my goggles when I do off-road. And it's hot because then I get a lot more airflow uh, through my helmet. But when I'm riding on tar and it's super windy, then uh, I still prefer my visor. It's quieter as well. Remedy. Bonjour. Ça va? Ça va? Ça va bien, merci. Et vous? Tu viens d'où? Je suis hollandaise. Non. Non. À rentrer à Trija où ça? Viens de ta? Euh, non, à Chingeti. Chingeti. Yeah. Ok, merci. Jusqu'à Bogé. 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 Alright, well, all the other checkpoints I only just give the paper, but he also wants to see my passport and visa. All good, let's go to Bogé. It's 409 kilometers to Bogé. Let's see what happens. Bonjour. Ça va? Ça va bien, merci. Et vous? Ça va. Direction uh, Bogue. Ok, merci. Wow, look at this. I'm approaching a town sits right there in the oasis and then just behind it is this huge wall of sand dunes spectacular right I'm getting some curious looks motorcycles around here so donkey power So sign. Look, but nobody comes out. Oh here. Bonjour. Ça va? Ça va bien? Et vous? Ça va bien, merci. Oui, Bogue. Bogue. Oui. De Chingeti. Bogue, vous venez de. De Chichiksha. 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 Oui. Vous allez à, à Bogue. Bogue. Sénégal, Dakar. Sénégal, Dakar. Oui. Ok. Ok, allez. merci. Au revoir. Very 
very laid back place this is in the oasis no way <laughs> look at this view i don't know how well you can see it on the gopro but oh Check this out. There is another town just below here. And it's just completely closed in by dunes, just surrounding it. There's goats. Uh, there's water here. See, there's, uh, they're transporting the water through that concrete line. You see that? You see, uh, the dunes are creeping up over the road again. Cows! These are the first cows that I see since I started in Morocco, pretty sure. Yep, that's an indication I'm heading south. The camels are being replaced by cattle, cows. of donkey traffic Oof, it's busy here it's just the one lane is all sand bit of tar left I mean I have to say the donkeys they probably work pretty hard here but they all look in good condition like they're they're well looked after maybe I should buy some bread that guy, that bread they have here is amazing. And I am a little bit hungry. Hey, Don? Comiendo, Guia? Uh, uh, just one. Yeah. No, the, 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 Bogey. Bogey. No, no, vein de chichiksha. Bogey. Bogey, c'est Yeah, yeah. Only for bread, I. Ah. I turn. <laughs> I see, I see the bread. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, no. <laughs> I. Merci beaucoup. I'll put it. Um, wait. On dit bogey deux ou bien bogey les. Il y a deux sortes de bogey. Mais c'est tout. C'est la même place. Mais on dit ici bogey, ici bogey. Mais c'est la même chose. Tu as compris? Non. The village, the village, the village. The village. Yeah, the village. Ah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. um, I go to um, the frontera, Senegal. Ah, 
Mais je ne sais pas une bogue. Et si possible, con moto Oui, possible. Oui, possible. possible. Ok. Au revoir. <laughs> that was so nice. That was really nice. Before I could even reach for money, that man just paid. And then he's like, no, no, you must have more. You must have more. <laughs> So nice. So now I had one bread and have three with me. He, he refused. He's like, no, no, no. You don't pay. You don't pay. Extremely nice. There was another shop there. Ah, okay. I see. So we had a little bit of a chat. Very friendly people. Works. So I'm now on a detour. It's super dusty. <laughs> Trying to get past these two, but it's not working. It's so interesting to see the landscape change. Do you notice that it all starts to look a lot more savanna like with these grasses everywhere? I really feel like the desert is slowly changing into savannah. I have arrived in Boge. Well, it's a border town, so they're always a bit mm, dubious, I suppose. The border between Mauritania and Senegal is uh, via a river. So I have to cross the river. Senegal, but there are no bridges. So I have to see if there's boats. Side of the border, almost a bit further. First, uh, a bit of chaos. Oh, it is hot. Oof. It's absolutely boiling. say about small borders being less chaotic <laughs> oh, oh, here are all the horses and it's just not yet the border it's just the market oh can I even how do I get there Senegal. 
Senegal. Amy, yeah, Senegal. This way. Doesn't really seem to be the way. Hey. Okay. Very close, like I'm super close. From where? Okay. We're going over the market. Okay, merci beaucoup. This is it. This should be. <laughs> should be immigration here or something. Yeah, I'm. 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 Yeah, I'm.